This is a quick video on how you can add toast with React Hot Toast in React. All right, now very quickly, these alerts don't, don't really look good. So basically the popular library to deal with this is, is this library React Hot Toast. And let's see if we can see an example. Yeah, so these are look, look pretty good and super easy to use. So often in any professional application, you're gonna want to show these messages to the user and, you, and that's called a toast. And this is a very popular library. So let's uh, quickly install this. So I'll also npm install react hot toast. Okay, I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna go to the layout. So first thing we have to do to uh, to make this work is we need to decide where it should be uh, where it should be output. So here in the default, it's top center, but we can also put it at the bottom and the right, for example. So first we need to basically tell React Hot Toast where it should be put. So we'll go to the layout here, because this is also something that's, uh, that should be pretty high up in the tree. So we have the theme switch. The theme switch is, all, that's, you haven't seen that yet because um, I accidentally continued to build the, the video, but eventually we will you will see that we're gonna have a theme switch. Now let's say we wanna have that, um, we want to have that toaster as it's called. So we need to provide the toaster from React Hot Toast, right? And you'll see that we will add this provider. So don't worry if you don't have that. That's just uh, what we will add in a second. And But we need to put the toaster here somewhere. And we can then specify the position. So we can say position should be, let's say, top right. And so that's going to be put here. So we can just say top right, right? So now we know where the toaster is going to be. So we can close this. And now here, if there is an error, we don't want to have this alert. We just want to do toast, toast.error. Right, so here we can just output the, the error. Right, we don't have to use message. That's what we've already done. We need to import this. Uh, let's see. And that's actually the default export here. So it's not a named export, it's a default export. So make sure you don't have curly braces. And then um, that's for the error. And then instead of having this alert, we actually want to have toast.success. Okay, so now I still have this issue, right? So I still have this mistype, it should be .dev, but we have .com. So if I try this, let's see what happens now. And there is another issue, or I need to refresh. All right, so now let's try this out. So we have this uh, domain, this .com, it should be .dev. So let me just quickly type out again, test, test. Now I'm going to submit this and let's see if we get an error. And we get an error here, right? React Toast is showing us the message. Okay, so let's fix that. I'm going to fix it to .dev. I'm going to save here and I'll wait until it uh, has updated. So now I'm going to try again and now it should work. So let's see what happens. And now we get this success message, right? Very easy to add some uh, aesthetically pleasing uh, toasts or basically alert messages or just some quick notifications. All right, so now we will continue with the rest of the uh, application. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.